Hey, hey, y'all. Tina here, your independent Sensi consultant. And I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to you guys about what my favorites are this spring and summer season. I know that everybody has their favorites, and I'm often asked, what are yours? So I thought, you know what? What better way to share with my friends than to do a video? You know, it's funny because I really do have a particular palette when it comes to my scents, or a scent profile is what's commonly known. Um, spring and summer is my favorite catalog season, uh, mostly because I'm big into like um, fruit scents, um, anything that is beachy, because anybody who knows anything about me, I'm a southern girl who likes my beaches. That's it. And that'll be a little evident <laughs> in some of my selections, y'all. You'll see it. Um, but it's my favorite, favorite time of year, number one. Even though I live in New England, I was not made for this. I'm not here by choice. I came up here for a job originally and will be going back down south. Uh, in a few years, trust me. But I have these, all these scents around me that just speak to me. And it was so hard to pick just six, but I did. And I'm also going to throw in a little honorable mention in the end. So let's get to it. The first one that I have is Lemon Thyme Berry. Oh my word. Since he describes it as sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. This was one of the first scents that I fell in love with when I joined Scentsy. It is so fresh and nice, and it is this beautiful, beautiful purple-colored wax. And whenever I smell it, it just oh, sends me into such a happy place. You really can smell the blueberries that little bit of time, just a little bit. And, you know, the um, I don't get as much of the strawberry, but enough of like a lemony blueberry smell that just puts me in such a happy mood whenever I smell it. So this is definitely one of the faves, Lemon Thyme Berry. And let's see for the next one, this right here, oh my God. This, if I had to have a favorite, there's a couple that fight. This would be one of them. And this is Blue Grotto. Oh, Sensi describes it as runaway with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus and lush botanicals. I definitely get the tropical notes. I don't get as much of the botanicals, but it almost has like a raspberry-ish vibe to me. Oh, it's this wonderful blue scent. Blue Grotto, let me tell you what, I go through some Blue Grotto. I have my bars, I have it in my Sunsea Go, I have it in uh, car bars. Um, let me tell you, my 19 year old son, this is the only thing that he warms in his room. This is Blue Grotto and it is fabulous. Just phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. Next, fighting up there with uh, the Blue Grotto is sea salt and avocado. Since it describes as you do you, while well, pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. Oh, this keeps my spirit in flight, y'all, because let me tell you, there is something innately relaxing and soothing, kind of like spa to me. If I could bathe in this, oh wait, 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 I do, I do. Sea salt and avocado bath bombs, <laughs> sea salt and avocado sea soak, um, sea salt and avocado body wash, and um, uh, body cream. Oh, I have it all. And it is just this, this beautiful green wax, and let me tell you, oh my, oh, everything that is relaxing. And you know, it's not like too much of a foodie avocado. It's just, it has that beautiful blend in there with the sea salt that just makes me Oh, such a happy, happy girl. So yeah, this one, this one, and the uh, Blue Grotto, two of the tops. Uh, the next one, speaking of me being a Southern girl, is Southern Sweet Tea. It is, let's see, let's see how Sensi describes it first. I always love their, their descriptions. Whoever writes this stuff is just awesome. A splash of juicy peach, orange juice, and white tea. This, you know, living up in New England, getting like real Southern sweet tea just doesn't happen. You can't make sweet tea by brewing some tea and just dumping some sugar in it. That is not the way it works, y'all. Not the way it works. There's a process, okay? So this right here, when they first came out with it, it's just this, this beautiful kind of, I don't know, orangey caramel colored wax. It does make me think of tea. And when I first smelled it, brings me back 
to the south, y'all. It is so, you smell more the peach than the orange in the tea. Oh, this brings me back to sitting on a porch in the middle of the summer, hearing the crickets chirping. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous again, another one of my phenomenal favorites is Southern Sweet Tea. Next is Rainforest Bungalow. Now, Sensi describes this as um, taking the road less traveled through emerald palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. I don't care what Sensi calls it, this right here. Oh, this beautiful green wax. Oh, you definitely smell the palm fronds. It is, oh. and just a little bit of the flower, but it's the flower's kind of toned down by the lemongrass. Oh, it's so fresh and it just makes everything around it seem so fresh and alive too. And let me tell you what, rainforest and plants and whatever. And let me tell you what, I do not have a green thumb. I have a black thumb because I kill plants, okay? So I don't have a whole lot of plants in my house. The only way my house smells like plants is if I use some Scentsy. So this is awesome. Again, this one is the Rainforest Bungalow. And last on the original six is Go Go Mango. Again, I told you, you could tell I kind of have a profile. <laughs> Go Go Mango is uh, juicy mango and mellow garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. And it is this beautiful kind of coral pink colored wax. And when you, when you smell it, you smell the mangoes. It makes me think about sitting in a beach under a palm tree, like maybe when I've been down to the Caribbean. And it is just phenomenal. So, so good. You get the mango, but it's got um, the banana. I don't smell as much of the banana flower, but I do know I smell the melon and the hibiscus. Oh, so good. Now, as you all know, we also have a scent of the month, every month. And I would be remiss if I did not mention this one as an honorable mention candidate because it has rocked my world. I'm talking about some Johnny Appleseed, y'all. Johnny Appleseed is, it's got the Macintosh apple, it's got a little bit of crisp pear, but it is like oh, bright red wax. If you are a fan of uh, apple press that we used to have years ago and they occasionally comes back and bring back my bar, this is your jam. You smell the apples, you smell the peels, you smell, oh, it smells just like an orchard. If Scentsy does not bring this back as a classic or something that's year-round, I'm going to be an angry Tina. But let me tell you, awesome, awesome stuff. I could smell this all day. Again, it definitely deserves that honorable mention because I could not leave him out. He's not officially part of the spring-summer line, but he really, you know, he's too good to be left out, y'all. Honorable mention to Johnny Appleseed. So there you have it, y'all. Those are my six plus honorable mention favorites for the spring and summer season. Um, I hope y'all are having a wonderful holiday weekend. And thank you so much for taking a few minutes to share your time with me. I hope you have a great day. And if you are interested in any of the products that I've mentioned, any of the scents, definitely head over to my website. And if you've ever thought about living the Scentsy life and being a part of my team, let me know. Team Wickless Wisdom is a lot of fun, and I would love to have you there. Take it easy, y'all. Till next time.